Alright guys, good morning and welcome to the channel. This is Salty and you're watching Salty Rides. So today uh, I am headed to uh, Zuluk. I've got a neat little homestay over there. Bit expensive but neat. Um, now you might be wondering where the hell is my motorcycle like like I said in the previous videos, uh, there is an issue with the permit because my my motorcycle is registered in my wife's name and then they don't make permits uh, if you're not the uh, you know owner of the vehicle. So I've rented a Himalayan, again, not very cheap, but then, come on, I couldn't uh, like miss Natula and Zuluk just because I was not able to get the permit. Now, you know, riding this bike, it kind of feels weird <laughs> because, uh, you know, the handlebars on my motorcycle are pretty wide and this thing, it kind of feels like I'm sitting on a very small bike. This is not a small motorcycle by any means, <coughs> but then that's what it feels like. It feels like I'm sitting on a, a TVS XL or something like that. It seems very small. The handlebars are, you know, close together. So my hands are close together. Uh, the height of the seat is very, uh, you know, different because the seat height is quite low on the Himalayan. Oh, look at that. Zuluk is about 60 kilometers or 70 is what I think. Nathula is 37 is what this particular board is saying. So there are three things, right? There is Tengu, uh, Songmo Lake, and there's Elephant Lake, and uh, there's Nathula. All of these I'll be doing tomorrow. Today I am going straight to Zuluk. Uh, the time is currently around 12 p.m. And uh, apparently, you know, towards the evening, it starts raining uh, hail stones. So I should, you know, kind of get to uh, the homestay uh, as quickly as possible. And the other thing is, Nathula is not is not open for tourists on Monday. So if you're planning a Sikkim trip and you're planning on going to Nathula then it has to be between uh, Tuesday and Sunday because Monday it is closed. Today is day 11 of the epic epic ride. Uh, day 10 was a rest day. I kind of you know chilled the whole day yesterday. I just changed my hotel room. It feels very weird riding this motorcycle. Now all my arrangement uh, for luggage on my motorcycle uh, has gone to shit because uh, you know I can't use the tank bag, I can't use the top box. The only thing that I can use is the claw bag, which I have uh, you know strapped onto the back of this bike. I don't feel confident uh, leaving this bike as well. It's not that this uh, you know this is not an agile bike. It is, but then since this is a rental. I mean, I don't know what kind of abuse this thing has taken. That's what happens with rental bikes, right? I mean, you can't uh, expect them to be of very good quality. <coughs> because multiple users have abused it. I mean, uh, when it's a rental, people exactly don't take care of, uh, you know, how properly they're riding it and all. This bike, the chain is a little, you know, stuff. Kind of makes a noise when you are trying to power through. But it's okay, it'll do the job. I am fine with it. So in the morning, you know, I got to the rental place at 8.30. But then that guy was like, oh, you have to make it. I'm like, come on, man, do it. So they gave me the bike at 9.45. They, they told me that, you know, the first check post, the Polish check post to, uh, while going to Natura, that thing closes at 11. 
and I was like shitting bricks because I had to come to the hotel, wear my uh, riding gear, uh, you know, then load up the bag onto the bike, go find a petrol bunk, fill petrol, then head to, uh, you know, this thing. And, and uh, since there's no phone holder on this thing, I can't put on Google Maps and Google Maps was in my pocket and in my ear and it kept taking me to the wrong spots, kept giving me the wrong instructions because, for example, like if I'm going this way and there's a left, it, I don't know, it just says to turn left and turn left there is a bloody mountain. So like, where turn left? And sometimes it says turn right and it's a valley, like a Kaime Girtaukya type of situation. But uh, nevertheless, I found a petrol bunk, no thanks to Google, by the way. And then, um, you know, I filled it up and uh, uh, luckily the uh, police guy at the check post was like, we close it at 10.30. <laughs> it's not even 11 o'clock, it's at 10.30. I was like, oh shit, thank you for letting me pass, Mr. Policeman. Oh shit, I feel, I think I have to wear the gloves. My hands are getting a little cold. Yeah, I better wear the gloves, man. I will see you shortly. Oh shit, I didn't close this. doing dumb stuff guys I keep doing dumb stuff because I am dumb like I said the mantra of this trip is one f cup a day <laughs> keep fucking up man. but then that's life guys I mean that is life you keep fucking up and you keep getting up from those cups these gloves are pretty handy, I mean, they don't completely stop the cold, but uh, for these parts it's okay. What I've done is I've gone ahead and bought like uh, another inner gloves, most probably if this thing gets like too cold, then I can wear those, but then for me to wear those, I will have to get off the bike and, you know do all of that stuff all right these if you're wondering are from Decathlon they're nice I don't I don't have to you know compromise too much on the flexibility of my hand and uh, I have the winter gloves but even those just by themselves don't do the job so even for those, I will have to wear the inner lining thing, inner gloves, and then wear these. All right, we're all set. Let's go. Hello, beautiful. Kanchenjunga viewpoint. I don't know whether we will be able to see Kanchenjunga. Is that Kanchenjunga? I don't know. Is that it? I have no clue. It's okay. I think you have to come like really early in the morning for you to see Kanchanjanga. I don't think you'll be able to see the, love, the amount of uh, mist that is covering all the mountains. I don't think you'll be able to see Kanchanjanga properly. I think just 
during sunrise you're able to see it and then it, it kind of disappears in the clouds even the seat on this bike is like pretty dumb i mean i don't know who designed this seat because when you're riding it's like a it's kind of a slope like this and then you just get get pushed forward and then your balls are like you know hitting the petrol tank this is weird it's not weird it's fucking annoying is what it is but yeah in general it's not a good feeling the essence of road safety is to live healthy and long i know the army has put up some weird signage oh there this, this is snow <laughs> there's no like this like for dirt on top of it like, what is this white stuff it's snow yeah they put up these weird signages uh, eh, go gentle on my curves <laughs> it's pretty they're trying to be funny so this is what i'm talking about better to lose one minute in life than life in one minute is white crack look at that mountain all covered up in fog and stuff there's lines of snow coming down from it ah i just love this state man i love sikkim bro i love it look at that mountain What happened Google From Sher Thang I will be taking like a diversion Oh hello beautiful How are you doing I seem to be having like a thing for snowy mountains finally all right guys that is the songmo lake i did not turn on the recording over there uh there's quite a few interesting things there's a rope way and uh there there there's really big ass yaks and you can mm, you know ride those yaks but uh, what a beautiful sight guys what a beautiful sight this is this is uh, you know extreme extreme beauty <laughs> i think all the snow and all melts and then it goes in there as water all right we are pressing forward next stop is sherthang which is about uh, 12 or 13 12 kilometers ah my fingers are freezing and uh, i think we have reached that height where you know talking too much equates to breathlessness so all right it's 12524 feet all right guys shutting down the recording now i love pro yeah boy Say hello to my little friend, the big friend. <laughs> I am so excited to be on this journey, guys. Ah. Uh. If you haven't already, slap a like. and press that subscribe button and uh, you know share this video share this beautiful view with your friends and family man this journey has been so beautiful and exciting exciting 
it's just been awesome these high mountains these steep valleys this is where we rode 1,500 kilometers for Oh yeah bro Oh yeah <laughs> I can't feel my fingers I need a break guys, I need a break. I need to warm my fingers up somehow. Oh wow, look, oh my god, oh what a beautiful view man. Look at that waterfall over there. I don't think you can look at it. Uh, I'm gonna take a break if there's a store over here. I'm gonna warm my hands up a little bit. Oh, there's one. Hey. Hey guys. Uh, I took a little tumble <laughs> while taking a U-turn. I thought I wanna go to a store and maybe get some tea or something. While I was taking a U-turn, I kind of fell. <laughs> Nothing happened to me. But I will continue this video after a short break. Keeps. Keeps on getting better and better. Look at the view. Wow. Ah, so I just crossed Kupup. Zuluk is another 40 kilometers. One and a half hour more. The temperature is about 12 degrees Celsius. And things are awesome. After my little tumble back there, I took a fall while taking a U-turn. My fingers were, you know, kind of freezing. I was not able to control the bike uh, while taking the U-turn, and uh, it was not a it was not a very uh, bad fall. It was an okay fall, <laughs> but I seem to have. Uh, kind of twisted my calf I don't know how I twisted my calf but then that's what happened <laughs> there's a little bit of a strain on my calf and uh, yeah but other than that everything is cool everything is awesome man I just want to, you know, not leave this place. What a place, man, what a place. Uh, That's so cold, man. 12 degrees Celsius, but then it feels like below zero when you're riding. The fingers, they tend to, you know, start uh, having that tricky sensation. You need to keep the blood flow up in the fingers. Uh, hopefully, it shouldn't rain before I reach the homestay. Let's pray for that. Whoa, look at that, man. Look at the road. It's all winding and, you know, such a fun road. Thank you, BRO, for you know, constructing such an awesome, awesome road. Hats off to them, man. Hats off to them. 
if not for them then all of these rides wouldn't have happened I can probably go on for another half an hour and then I'll have to warm my hands up uh, there's the Baba Mandir here but all of this I will do when I'm coming back On my way back, I will be visiting the Baba Mandir. This is the new Baba Mandir. The old one is a bit further. I will be going to boat on my way back. So stay tuned for that. Huh, Natula is that way. We'll be going there tomorrow. Oh, look at this road, man. <laughs> ah, a little bit of sunshine is what we need. Lose one minute in life. Oh, yeah, this wouldn't be right before. <laughs> Things are so beautiful here, man, and I am getting distracted. <laughs> I need to keep looking at the road, but then I keep looking here and there. Ah, it got a little sunny, and my hands, they feel good. Enemy observation area ends here. Just look at the beautiful twisty road, man. Man and woman. Ah, <laughs> getting a little bit of a vertigo when I look down the valley. The sun feels so good on my. I mean, right now it's not on my skin, but. Uh, Feels good, it's warming up my hands a little bit. Ah, man, this road, I'm at 12,400 feet currently. I am so high on these mountains. There is no drug that I can give you this feeling, man. The dopamine of what am I saying the dopamine of what like the dopamine release that happens when you find some awesome awesome roads like this seriously like a vertical climb down and then I think there's like a vertical climb up as well the so look is 15 kilometers oh my god there's like so much fog nothing is visible <laughs> My God! <sighs> I guess this is what uh, 
people in Delhi, NCR experience in, in the month of November, etc. I have a very strong stomach, but then I am feeling a little tingly in my stomach. Just tingly, 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 tingly. So I am pretty sure my wife will at least, uh, uh, and I'll puke at least seven times. <laughs> She's got motion sickness, actually car sickness. So that is the case. So there was a zigzag road viewpoint back there. But then there's so much fog. I don't think. And then what do you mean? I don't think. I know. <laughs> I mean, you. I was. What? There's so much fog. That... Oh man. I am getting a little... Breathless while talking. I think it is because of the fog. I don't know if... The presence of a lot of fog... Uh, you know, reduces the amount of oxygen available to be taken in. But yeah, this is it. This is the zigzag road. But then everything is covered in fog. The loop is about seven kilometers now. I was just uh, reading today that there's some, uh, you know, drug they are taking in uh, one of the African countries. I don't know if it's Burkina Faso or something like that and then these uh, uh, drugged up dudes are like going and digging up graves to eat them it's like a zombie drug <laughs> it's crazy I mean has it started the zombie apocalypse I don't know Some small skin insects that are flying into my helmet. But the problem is, because of this fog, the windshield is picking up a lot of it, a lot of the fog and moisture, making it uh, hazy. So I can't put the windshield down. Even if I leave a crack in the windshield, like in the visor. Why am I saying windshield? It's the wiser. Yeah, wiser, wiser. Even if I leave like a crack in the wiser, it is still fogging up a little bit. A little bit of sunshine coming in. Ah, oh, that is such a good, good feeling. All the colors change in front of you. What a nice feeling this is man oh. if you come to Sikkim don't miss, miss this road guys I think a lot of people just go to Natula and come back well, when you're planning, just plan for two days. Come to Zuluk, stay here for a day, and then uh, 
you know, go, go to Natula. You don't want to miss this awesome, awesome road. Especially if you're a motorcycle guy. This road is next level. Just make sure that you have a very strong stomach. And you're not an impatient rider. You don't want to, you don't, I mean, you can't be speeding on these roads, man. You will fall and die for sure. Wow, bro. Oh, look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that view. Oh my God. So beautiful. Then it's gonna get covered in fog. <sighs> Zuluk Village Homestay is where I'm staying today. I think in the winter as it gets covered in snow. Right now there won't be any snow on it. God damn it. How ironic, I am going to Zuluk and some people pronounce it as, as Suluk and uh, Suluk in Tamil, Tamil means like a strain and my calf is sprained, calf muscle is Suluk Purchikichi, Suluk <laughs> There's so many hairpin bends. Even somebody who's watching this video might get sick in the stomach. They're like, oh no, oh, what the f man, stop, stop, stop going, twisting and turning. Ah, dude, how do these guys walk in these parts, man? I walk for like 100 meters and I get so tired. Soldiers are like the fittest people. Why are they sleeping? Toughest, toughest people on the planet, man. Indian soldiers. You can't compete with them. And they serve in such harsh weather conditions. A big salute to them, man. They do all sorts of work over here. You know, road work, construction work, security. If, any, if there's any rescue, or something that needs to be done. What a life they have, man. That is why... The uh, Indian Army is one of the most uh, disciplined kind of army. You know? They're very, very... dedicated and disciplined. Uh, getting a little bit of a headache. I'm not sure what it is because of... <laughs> what a day, man. What a wonderful day. What are those white flowers? I don't know, they look good. So those were the twisties and turnies of Zuluk, guys.
I'll be right back. What's up guys from Zuluk village? Right now you can see the village. It's all covered in mist. Such a nice spot. And the ride was totally worth it. God damn it. So beautiful. I think you can see a few buildings over there. And uh, there's a big ass valley in front of us. But you can't see it right now. I'll show it to you once the fog clears. Uh, sorry, clears up. So I'm gonna end this video over here. Day 11, done and dusted. I had to park my bike way over there, over there, and then walk all the way up over here, which kind of, you know, <laughs> took the breath out of me, but uh, it's okay, I'll survive. So that's it for this video. Uh, until the next one, stay safe, ride safe, cheers guys.